my daughter's room. It is a disaster. She had a play date and sleepover yesterday and also a birthday party where she got a lot of new toys and it is time to finally clean her room. I have been really into minimalism the past three years. I really love that way of living, having less and living more mentality. Every four to six months, I go through every object we have in this house and I either donate what we're not using and keep what we are using and make sure that it has a home. It takes a lot of work, but it is so worth it. And we did decide to downsize so we could be close to the beach, we're a block away. And my husband and I both like this minimalism lifestyle. So we got rid of all of our stuff and for the adults, I feel like that's easy. Uh, but for a child, it's hard. They're really attached to their toys and their things. Um, so she's gonna be working with me today on deciding what she wants to keep and what we can give away. I never force her to give away anything. She's not ready to donate. And I keep her a part of the process. So yeah, I have my work cut out for me. So I think I'm gonna start by going through all the toys. So I'm gonna take out all the toys and put it on this rug. And then one by one, we're gonna go through everything. You have a monkey hanging from your bag. One by one, we're gonna go through everything. Let's get started. I don't know what I was thinking when I said put all the toys on the rug. <laughs> That's not happening. We're first starting with stuffed animals. My daughter is obsessed with stuffed animals. They're her favorite. We're gonna go through and decide which ones we are keeping and which ones we are donating. And I'm pretty sure that she's probably gonna wanna keep all of them, which is fine. We will find a home for everyone. But I want her to take a good, hard look at each one and decide. Does bring me joy? Will I play with it? Or maybe there's another child out there that could get more joy from it. So I always talk about how when we donate toys, they're gonna go to other children who will love them. Okay, so we're back. I put away the stuffed animals and I made up the beds. And now we're moving. I removed these from under her bed. So this is where I keep her like hard toys, plastic toys. And I try to arrange them into categories. I haven't done this since we moved in June. So it's been many months and it's time to organize again. So. We're gonna go through all of these toys. Hopefully, Seppi will be ready to part with some things that she no longer plays with, right? Yes? Okay, let's see. We wanted to tell you a funny story. I started laughing when I saw this Ken because when um, we got Ken for her, my husband decided to wake up one morning and dress exactly like him and walk out. And uh, he has like basically the same clothes as Ken's wearing. And it was hilarious. I wish I got that on camera because we were all dying laughing. Now I'm 
going to be sorting through costumes and bags and other miscellaneous items. So I'm going through her closet. I'm just going to reorganize, fold, and find a good solution for these beach towels. And I'm going to go through all of her shoes. I have my rollerblades here too. Um, and some random stuff and find a home for everything and donate or throw out the shoes that don't fit her anymore. daughter's shirts. I'm going to sort through them and make piles. One keep, one donate, and one toss. And then I will be folding them Marie Kondo style and putting them in. So this is how her shirts look after. She really respects her closet when I have it folded like this. She will not pull stuff out and um, mess it up. So now I'm moving on to her pants, shorts, and skirts. down to the last two drawers. I have her underwear and socks in this one and her pajamas and bathing suits in this drawer. So I'm all done. I organized all of her clothes and her toys. Her toys right now are on top of her bed. I'm going to let Cleo, our vacuum cleaner, clean in this room while I dust and then I'm going to put everything giving you a bit of a tour. So what do you think? It's great. Thumbs up. <laughs>